Howdy folks, Chuck here, why not wander, in the RV, trying something a little bit different. We're going to do a little unboxing. This is where a lot of the why not wander stuff happens, editing and things like that. My hobby center, my little bit of everything center, right here. But yesterday the UPS man bought a box. If you can see it says Amazon Prime on there. Now I know what's in the box and I'm going to show you. Because obviously to come from Amazon Prime I had to order it. Now we order quite a few things on Amazon. Because we travel around the country. But stay in one place. Usually... Uh, a week or two at a time. We're at Dad's house in Arkansas right now for a couple weeks. Miss Linda actually drove down to Little Rock a couple of days ago. She's in Baltimore at the current time for a uh, conference for her consulting work. Inside this box is another box. Of course, Amazon, that's the way they do things. In this box, you can see it says Induction Cooktop. Now, uh, I made a video a while back showing over here we've got an electric hot plate I use for most of my cooking rather than the propane. We've got a propane two burner stove under here, but I use that hot plate for most of my cooking. But what I've run into lately, the hot plate is, uh, is 1500 watt hot plate, it's two burners. The small burners rated at 600 watts. The bigger burners weighted at 900 watts. Sometimes if I want to boil something with a pretty big pot, it's all I can do to get that to boil. And if I take the lid off, it's pretty much just barely a simmer. I've been uh, experimenting with cooking some, and I want to be able to sear fish, scallops, pork chops, chicken, things like that. Now I can get some things seared successfully on that hot plate, the 900 watt uh, side of the burner. Now, we have 110 volts in here. Of course right now we're plugged into shore power. If you've been following us at all you know we recently added solar. So one of the things I'm going to uh, try with this video is see if this electronic controlled hot plate will run on my solar and batteries with a modified sine wave inverter. So we're probably not going to get any cooking today, but I hope we learn a lot about hot plates, about solar, about cooking in an RV. So now this is, uh, I've not had this out yet. I'm not telling you I know a whole lot about it. It was about the cheapest induction hot plate available on Amazon. It says on here, features energy efficient, suitable for induction pans only, which I checked my cookware before I uh, ordered this. And uh, a magnet will stick to the bottom of my cookware set. It says heat up quickly to give you full control over your cooking. 15 power levels from 200 to 1800 watts. 15 temperature settings, temperature level settings from 120 to 465 degrees Fahrenheit. It does say up to 180 minutes of heating settings. So I'm thinking you must be able to uh, set it and let it cook without being right there. Residual heat indicator, which I believe that uh, if it's hot, it has a warning on there so you don't come along and lay your hand on it. Auto shut off after two hours, overheat protection, rated power. 1800 watts, rated voltage, 120 volts, 60 hertz, net weight 5.7 pounds, gross weight 6.5 pounds. I'm not sure why there's a difference there. Product size uh, 11 and a quarter by 14 inches by 2 and 3 sixteenths would be this. Slip the styrofoam off the end. Looks like I've got it upside down. We'll slip it out of the plastic bag. It looks like We've got some instructions right here. Now, one of the other questions I had in looking at hot plates, induction, non-induction, both styles on Amazon, 
I found different power level ratings. Now, I did just a little bit of quick math. Here's what it looks like. I think it was just under $38. We got it with prime shipping. Came in a couple days. But uh, let me run through just my electronics portion uh, of this thing now. Okay, They say it's rated 120, I think most short powers. We all know that volt, well, if you don't know, in electricity, volts times amps equal watts. Therefore, if you take watts divided by volts, it gives you the amps that you should be drawing for different things. Now, this, I'm just going to bring my hot plate over here real quick. Forgive the looks. This chrome ring on it here. Gets, I do use it a lot. I cook with it a lot. I fix a, a lot of things on it. This is my primary cooktop in our RV right now. It does work just fine. It's not electronic. It's analog. Anyway, this is our primary cook service in our uh, RV so far. We did have a couple of times, I don't remember if it was last Thanksgiving, one time when we were cooking a bigger dinner, we were using the hot plate, we were using the coffee makers, we were using the microwave, which all run off the same 110 volt circuit, the same 15 amp circuit breaker. We did kick that breaker a couple times, so we rearranged our cords. Where our RV is set up, one side of the motorhome runs off one breaker, the other side runs off the other breaker, so I think what we did, we ran an extension cord and run, so maybe we put it on the table. Anyway, we ran something off the other side of the uh, circuit so that we had another 15 amp breaker and we didn't uh, kick it anymore while we were cooking dinner. Everything on our motor home for the 110 volt circuits runs off two 15 amp breakers. Now, if we get into an 1800 watt induction hot plate, if I Okay, so an 1800 watt hot plate at 120 volts would be 15 amps of current just right for the breaker. I can't imagine I will probably ever really be using the high level, which it says would be 465 degrees. Now, for you cooks out there, we know water boils at 212. I can boil water on that one uh, if I keep the pot covered or if it's not very deep. So I'm hoping this will get a little bit hotter boil my water a little bit better. Maybe I can sear meats uh, 320 or is it 328 degrees, somewhere in that neighborhood, is the caramelization of sugars range if you're going to sear something. Now, you cooks, if I'm totally off base, please correct me, leave a note, help everybody learn here. But for now, this is what I'm going to try. This is an induction cooktop. My cookware, we got uh, not too long ago, we got a new set of cookware. It wasn't terribly expensive. Again, the bottom of it's getting a little bit of grease stain on it, but that doesn't affect it. It is all, uh, does all attract a magnet. Usually I have a magnet up here in my, uh, I do. My little cup of pens and scissors and flash size magnifying glass tweezers. It attracts a magnet, so that should work just fine on here. I've been having trouble with this pan uh, trying to sear fish particularly. Now, I know it has to be dry. I know it has to be hot. I know you're supposed to get your pan hot. You're supposed to add a little bit of oil just to put a film on the bottom of the pan which helps the conductive heat heat whatever food is in there. But now it appears to me as if I don't know if my food is cooling it down and then drying out before it gets back up to temperature. But nearly everything I put in there, and this is that new nonstick stuff, we got this off of Groupon for, it was under, under $100. I'm going to plug this in. I've got a power strip right here with various chargers. Okay. We're just going to work with this a little bit here. Now the buttons, uh, if you can see along here, there's a row. They're actually plastic covered, so it'd be weatherproof and everything else. Timer, temp, power, minus plus. So lower the temperature, raise the temperature, on, off. Okay. I just turned it on. A fan came on. Okay, there's a little fan here that uh, I guess cools the inner workings of it. I've got my power, has a little red light button, looks like an LED, my temp does too. If I want to choose temp, there's 320. 
it gave me an error of one. I'm guessing because maybe I don't have a pan on it. Now I will read the instructions, learn how to do this properly. At least I think I will. In the meantime, if I wanted to turn it off, all else fails, unplug it, right? Okay. I don't know how much I can really show you about how it works here without reading the instructions. I was hoping I could shortcut it. You know, I'm a guy. Who wants to read instructions? They usually do better than, uh, they usually do better just trying to figure stuff out than reading instructions anyway. But now I have a pan on there. Pulling the instructions out. If I could find what E1 is real quick. I don't know if I can or not, but uh, let's see important safety instructions like don't burn yourself, don't fall down, don't run with scissors. Introduction to induction cooking, product specs, operating instructions, proper cookware care, selecting the proper cookware, cleaning and maintenance, troubleshooting, special deck, try that one again, special declarations, and short cord instructions. Okay, about induction cooktop. Induction cooking is safe, advanced, efficient, economical cooking technology. Works by electric. It works by the electromagnetic field generating instant heat directly into the cookware bottom rather than indirectly through the heating glass surface. The glass becomes hot only because the cookware warms it up. Okay. Now, real quick, if I could find what. Uh, there's diagrams in here. It shows you how induction works. It's got the instructions. The control panel layout tells you what everything is. I'm looking for E1 cookware notes. Proper cookware, and it shows some pictures. Iron frying pan, stainless steel pot, iron pan, iron kettle, enamel stainless steel kettle, enamel cooking pot, iron plate. Optimally, the cookware will have this induction image on the retail box and it's got a square with like, like a lot of loop-de-loops and things on there. Of course the box for this, I should have done an unboxing video for it probably. I've never done an unboxing video before that I can recall. I've done a couple of uh, instructional videos. I probably should have done more than these. You know, If I get good at this, maybe I'll do some cooking with Chuck videos. I'm not going to promise that, but who knows what's coming. It seems to me like I've been a little short of video content here lately. Okay, E1 appears in digital display. No cookware found or improper placement of cookware over 10 seconds on the cooking zone. So, there you go. That's why we had the E1. Alright, turn it on again. We're going to set the temperature. It's at 320. Plus minus raises. Looks like it goes in. Let's see, 400, 370, 340. Looks like 30 degree increments. If I were going to try to sear something, I'd probably set it at least 340. Get the pan hot. I can feel heat coming. Okay, if I take that off, it should. It gave me the E1. Okay, I can feel the pan's hot. Yeah, I don't want to touch the pan, but I can lay my hand right on that cookware surface. Just a little bitty short instructional here. Apparently, once you get the E1, Okay, it says on off, but it doesn't want to shut off once it has that air. There it did. I took the pan off. The fan is still going to cool. Put the pan on. Turn it on. Let's select our temp again. Let's go up to 350. 370 is what we've got. Now, I just made a pot of coffee. Oh, my, I guess my pot does. My cup does have something in it. I'm just going to grab another coffee cup. I'm going to get a little water out of the tap. I'm going to put that in there. Oh yeah, that's sizzling already. How long did that take? Okay, we've got steam coming up. Okay, you watch that a minute. I'm going to go back and real quick because one of the things I wanted to find out, can you see that steam? The water's uh, boiling there. Oops, E1 immediately when I lifted that, but it went out as soon as I set the pan back down. Our circuit breakers are in the bedroom. I'm going to go back. I'm going to kill the 210 circuit breakers with the coach. See if that will run off the inverter.
Okay, it's still on. It sounds like it's buzzing just a little bit. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, it's on. Okay, selected power. It's showing 1,000 on there right there. Oh, there's 900, 800. I'm guessing that is my wattage. Okay, if I crank this up, there's 1,800 watts right there. It's still on, but it is making a buzzing sound. Okay? Now if I lift that pan just slightly, that buzzing quits. Okay, I had been told when we got our uh, solar panel and the inverter we've got, it's a uh, modified sine wave inverter and digital products don't necessarily work on it or it may burn them out. Okay, now I have changed from my uh, steel copper clad pan to a cast iron skillet. I'll set that on the other hot plate because it is hot now. It did boil that water out. I'm going to crank this down a little bit. Take it down to 1200 watts. Now, in reading reviews and comments on other induction hot plates such as this one, numerous people commented they're noisy when they're operating. Now, this, of course, it has the fan, but apparently some of them do buzz or hum or something. The comments that I read, the people who said that said it wasn't really an issue for them. Okay, that, that is hot already, just like that. Didn't take very long. Now, as I added that water, I don't know if you could hear it or if it was noticeable. That humming or buzzing subsided considerably when I added water. We have probably half, three quarters of a cup of water in there right now. The smaller amount was starting to boil when I put it in there. This I can see some very tiny bubbles on the very bottom. I'll pick up the camera, bring it over, see if you can see that. I don't know. Okay. Must be where the center part of the heating grid is. If I switch over to temp, it says I'm at 320 degrees. Okay, that was a timer. I really didn't want that. Let's go back to power. 1,000 watts, okay. Okay, plus. There's 1,500 watts. Really brings that uh, boiling up. And the buzzing has subsided substantially. I'm going to try and set this back down if I get my tripod about where it was before. Maybe you'll still kind of see what's going on. So we've got a good boil going on there. It's showing we're at 1,800 watts. Temperature at 320. Okay, that's the temperature setting, not the temperature of the water. Water boils at 212. If we were to stick a thermometer in there, that is what it should read. If we crank the temperature all the way up 465, maximum temperature this can uh, reach, we're getting a little bit of moisture, like condensed steam around the outside. 
Now the edges of that are not hot or warm or anything at all. And the buzzing, I can almost not hear it at all now. Let's bring the copper plate. Let's bring the copper clad pan back. I don't know how hot my handle on the cast iron is getting. Okay, the heat has not yet come up the handle. Of course, now as I understand the convection cooking, induction cooking, not convection. Convection is what your oven does with the hot air. Uh, conduction is what most stoves do, apply heat to the pan and the pan to the contents. This is actually a magnetic field applied to the pan. It does look like my water level is uh, less. Of course, you can see the steam going up too. But let's take that pan off. I'm going to slide the other one on. Just okay. There it is, buzzing considerably more. Okay, the end of that handle, close to the pan, is getting pretty warm. That on the other burner of my cooktop. Grab a little bit more water. I think for now, I'm going to say, of course, this is entirely experimental right now. I haven't studied, I haven't learned, I'm learning by doing. I've got a buzz going on running off my inverter and my batteries. I cut the power off to the coach shut the main breakers off so all I'm running my lights and everything right now and the cooktop here and the microwave everything everything in the coach with the exception of air conditioner and our laundry machine we've got a Splendid 2100 XC combo washer dryer I am smelling a little bit of an odor from something might just be the newness in the in the motor, I don't know. I'm going to let this water heat up again. We'll just get this water boiling, then I'll probably uh, go back and turn the breakers on again. So we're running off the 110 shore power, just so we have a good comparison. What's what? I'm going. Most of the things we have aren't digital, but we do run our computers. We run our iPads. When we were out in the desert a couple of weeks ago, boondock, and we were running everything off batteries, and there was nothing with the exception of the clothes washer and the air conditioner. I'm trying to think, make sure I'm not forgetting something, leaving something out, but everything else is designed to run on battery power and or our inverter. The crock pot runs just fine on the inverter. It's a digital control. Our coffee pots, everything seems to run just fine. And so far, this seems to run just fine on the modified sine wave inverter. It's boiling now. Well, let me go shut that off. Make sure that buzzing does quit. Okay, and that buzzing has stopped now. Everything else looks to be the same. So for now, I think I'm going to be really happy with this hot plate. Inductive cooking in our RV. I'm anxious to uh, try cooking a few things in it. So far, most of the things I would have made a cooking video on, uh, such as pan searing foods, that's what I really would like to learn to do. I haven't been having a lot of a success so far with the cookware I've got, the hot plate I've got. I haven't really tried it on the gas stove so much. Because I would like to be able to do my cooking electrically, so especially when we're boondocking, which we like to do. Everybody knows how to cook on a stove, right? Except for me. Instruction manual, induction cooktop. It's the Chef's Star model, C18E-97B. I got it on Amazon for about 38 bucks. With Amazon Prime, it got here in a couple of days. It's fresh out of the box. Seems to be working fine. I just that's still pretty hot. It didn't sear my hand when I touched it, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't take long to check a hot cooktop. That's from an old joke I heard a long time ago. A guy, a blacksmith, was doing something with a horseshoe. A guy came in and looked at it, and uh, he picked it up and looked at it, and tossed it right back down. Blacksmith said, "Hot, isn't it?" The guy said, "No, it just doesn't take me long to look at a horseshoe." So.
Anyway, doesn't take me long to check a cooktop. But it's cooling down pretty quick, considering. Put that pan on there without any uh, induction heat. It would just be uh, whatever conductive heat might be left. Conduct a little bit of heat to the metal pan, but uh, yeah, it's it's not that bad. So I guess if you have a hot cooktop sitting around, set something on it so somebody can't come along and burn themselves on it. Everything else is plenty cool to the touch. But, uh, there you have it for now. I think that's the video. This is Chuck. Why not wander? Thanks for watching. If you find anything useful in our videos, uh, please subscribe. Share with your friends. Save for future reference. If you subscribe and click on that little bell icon, then it will notify you when we uh, post new videos. Hit that like button if you have time. We're trying to build our channel. And uh, be safe. Have a great day.